I'm convinced that the idea that we sometimes have to choose the lesser sin because all our choices are sinful, I'm convinced that that idea is a dangerous and a deeply harmful idea for the Christian life. I'm aware that several evangelical ethics books claim that from time to time we face situations of what they call impossible moral conflict, where all our choices are sinful and we must simply choose to commit the lesser sin, but I don't see this taught in scripture, honestly. It's contradicted by the life of Christ. Hebrews 4 says that Christ in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. And so if Jesus was tempted in every way as we are, and we're tempted by situations where all our choices are sinful, then that means that Jesus was tempted by situations where all his choices were sinful, and that means that Jesus sinned. He disobeyed God's moral laws. And yet that contradicts uh, many, many verses in the New Testament, and especially here in Hebrews 4.15, 4, where it says, he, he in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. I realize that people bring up the story of Rahab in Joshua 2, where she hid the spies, the Jewish spies who came to Jericho and hid them on the roof of her house and then lied about their whereabouts. Uh, but when we look at that, um, Rahab is a, is a Canaanite, prostitute. Uh, she doesn't have any training in the moral teachings of the God of Israel. Uh, it's remarkable that she has faith and courage to protect the spies, but the Bible, the Bible doesn't ever approve her lie or hold her lie up as an example for us to imitate. There are other supposed impossible moral conflict situations that people bring up, but sometimes those are artificial situations, and I think we should realize that if we ever come to a difficult situation like that, uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, God will provide a way to escape, a way not to give in to the temptation. This impossible moral conflict view easily becomes a slippery slope that encourages Christians to sin more and more, and then people lose their moral backbone and their courage to stand when under great pressure to disobey God. Uh, we should uh, listen, I think, carefully to the words of Revelation 2:10: Be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life.